Welcome to clickmyprojects.com. Here we discuss about A transition using motion capture data. A transition is the systematic study of animal locomotion, more specific as a study of human motion using the naked eye and the brain of observers, augmented by instrumentation by measuring body movements, body mechanisms, and the activity of the muscles. A typical gait analysis laboratory has several cameras placed around a walkway or a treadmill which are linked to a computer. Gait recognition is the process of recognizing individuals by their distinctive walk that captures a sequence of images to derive and analyze motion ca characteristics. A person's gait can be hard to discuss because a person's musculature essentially limits the variations of motions and measuring it requires no contact with the person. However, gait can be obscured or discussed if the individual, for example, is wearing loose-fitting clothes. Preliminary results have confirmed its potential but further development is necessary before its performance, limitations and advantages can be fully assessed. In our project, we use in PC to reduce the dimensity of given sequences. By using the PC components obtained, were then being matched with Euclidean distances method between the samples and subject data. This paper investigates the recognition of gait using motion capture data. Normalization method is applied to constant the data. In the first step, we extract the gait sequences from the given video and by using the gait sequences we track the person and finally we recognize the action of the person by using PCM method. This is the prodigram of our project. Normally, human gait is the way locomotion is achieved using human limbs. Human gait is defined as bipedal, biphasis, forward propulsion of center of gravity of human body in which there is alternate sinus movements of different segments of the body with least expenditure of energy. Different gaits are characterized by differences in limb movements per patterns. Overall velocity, forces, kinetic and potential energy cycles and changes in the contact with the surface. Action recognition aims to recognize the action and goals of one or more agents from a series of observations on the agents' actions under the environmental conditions. Many different applications have been studied by researchers in activity recognition. Examples include assisting the sick and disabled. In our project, we extract the gate sequences from the given video and by using PCA components, we calculate the Euclidean distance and finally we recognize the action of the given person. In the first step, we initialize the given video and convert these videos into frames. From these frames, we extract the gate samples for each and every frames. After that, these gate samples are given to PCA block. In PCA, the first step is calculate the mean vectors for the each and every frames. Then covariance values are calculated from the mean vector values. From these covariance values, then eigenvalues and eigenvectors are calculated. The output from PCA is the eigenvector value. These eigenvectors are used to calculate the Euclidean distances from the trained samples and the testing eigenvectors. From this value, it check the matching of binary output result. After that finally, we recognize the action of the given video. Now I am going to explain the running process of our project. Now just run video.m file. This is our guide window for our project. The first step we insert the given video by clicking insert video button. It gets the input video from user. 
After that, you can play the given video by clicking play button. Here, in MATLAB, initialize the guide creations to display the given video. Here we can play the game video. This is our inserted video. Then we convert this video into frames by clicking convert button. Here this each and every frames are converted into images and stored in the frames folder. Each and every frame is converted as an image file. After that, from these frames, we using the background separation by clicking background button. This will display the background and the movement of persons. This denotes the pixel movement for each and every action. Then by clicking gate button, we extract the gate sequences from the given video. Here, these sequences display the gate for given video for each and every frames. This figure displays the skeleton structure for the gate sequences. By using these skeleton structures, we can extract the angles between each and every human body. Now from these gate sequences, we track the moving object by clicking track button. The figure here displays the rectangular box which represents the moving of human in each and every frame. Finally, we recognize the action by clicking click button. This displays the action which I have given in the video. With the gauge samples, we recognize the action by using PCA method. In this method, PCA will provide the eigenvectors. By using these PCA components, we finding the Euclidean distances and finally we recognize the action of given video. In this algorithm, PC is used for reducing the dimensity for each and every gate samples. Thus, we extract the gate sequences from the given video and finally we predict the action of video by using PCA method. Thank you.